I mentioned going to the United States Supreme Court. Some of you probably are well aware of that. Think back a couple years ago when the Chrysler bankruptcy took place in Indiana's retired teachers and retired state police officers got ripped off. First time in American history when secured creditors, and by the way, if you don't know what a secured creditor is, it sounds complicated, it's really not. Simply, if you're a secured creditor, it means you're first in line. It means you loan money to a corporation, and then it means you are first in line to get your money back in the event of a bankruptcy. Now, it doesn't guarantee you you're going to get a single penny back, but there's two types of creditors, secured creditors and non-secured. Before any non-secured creditor would ever receive a single penny out of that bankruptcy, every secured creditor would be paid back 100 cents on the dollar. It's been bankruptcy law since the early 1800s. And that's the way it's been until Chrysler. In that case, the United States government, not Chrysler, by the way, Chrysler couldn't have done this on their own. The United States government decided they were going to change the rules arbitrarily, unilaterally, and just do it. And as a result, our retired teachers, our retired state police officers who'd invested in Chrysler were deprived, I believe, to this day, of their property rights. They had their assets ripped away. Because government decided it was going to pick winners and losers. Our teachers, our retired state police officers, were losers. Friends of the administration were the winners. Non-secured creditors got paid 100 cents on the dollar. Some of them, not all of them. All the secured creditors got 29 cents on the dollar. It was an amazing process to be part of. And I have some vindication, though the United States Supreme Court ruled against us at the time of the Chrysler bankruptcy, ultimately it struck down the decision at our request. It ultimately struck down the decision of the underlying courts, because just exactly as we predicted, as we said to the courts in the summer of 2009, if you let this act stand, bankruptcies all over the United States will occur. They're going to walk in and they're going to look at the judge and say, just give me the Chrysler deal. Let me throw away my secured creditors and I'll start all over too. You let me give it to my creditors, I got no problem. But you can't run a financial system like that. And indeed, that's exactly what happened after the Chrysler bankruptcy. So in December, six months later, the United States Supreme Court took our case, ruled from the bench, and totally erased, as if it never happened in the American court system, what would have been the precedent of the Chrysler case. I learned, only, and I'm, again, I'm not a lawyer, I make no apology for that, but I learned only in American law can you lose the battle and yet win the greater war, and we did. It took a lot of heat for that. I don't care. It was the right thing. Richard Murdoch, proven conservative leadership. It's time.